I'm not one to always scream race war, but boy, 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 wait till I get finished with this article. There, there, there's a little something about money and power, bro. Um, you know, you can do anything and you can knock motherfuckers upside the head and then they will give you money because you knocked them upside the head. There are two Chinese and also on a side note, do you know that raggedy ass people from the East come over here and make the reason why they couldn't get into Harvard, you know, they sit up and cry about black people. Now, I don't think I did the video, but I showed you how there's this thing um, where they overlook the uh, applications and it ends up being a final determination uh, that is outright individual. And just about 100 percent of the people at these Ivy League colleges who get to make the last and final decisions after the applicant writes the paper is typically a white person. So the discrimination is between a white person who is discriminating against an Asian, but they are two punks with two big guns. And see, the black man is still sitting in the middle with his spear. So what they do is that they grab black people and make them the center of the anger. And the reason why I'm pointing that out is because affirmative action is about to be done away with. And the main arguments are Asian people making these arguments about the black people or I should not get my application accepted because a black person has my spot. When it's truly a white person that looked at your application and said, fuck you. Okay. Now, the you got a whole complete entire professor who is Asian at an Ivy League school. And the only thing that I'm going to say is sit back, hold on to your chair and let me read you this. And the only thing that you're going to be left saying is wow. Like, really? Like, bro, you got to link me to that so I can see it myself. A government website? Like, Really? Man, wow. Hold on. Let me dig it up. Hold up. Let me find it real quick. There it is. There it is. I'm going to just read. I'm going to just read the two. You can read the whole article yourself. If you're on my YouTube channel, I'll put it in the D box. But on TikTok, the only thing I can say is uh, you can email me at inbox39362 at Gmail. And I'll just, you know, I'll send you the article. But I'm going to just read these two little parts of it. Yang Quinn Yi, 29, a Chinese national was charged in an incident today with one count each of visa fraud, making false statements, acting as an agent of a foreign government and conspiracy. The guy who did this was allowed to flee the country and go back to China. Like really? Like how you get out, bruh? Zong, hold up. Zay Song Dong, 30. A Chinese national was arrested December the 10th, 2019. At Boston's Logan's International Airport. And charged by criminal complaint with attempting to smuggle 21 vials of biological research from China. On January 21, 2020, Zing was indicted on one count of smuggling goods from the United States and one count of making false, fictitious, and fraudulent statements. He has been detained since December 2019. So... Thank you, China. Let us stand up there and pass a anti-Asian hate crimes bill. Appreciate that. Hell, we didn't need all these goddamn people anyway. A bunch of old ass people on Social Security. Good job, Corona. Kill their asses. Appreciate it. And then you notice how this is being dealt with criminally? Nigga, this is this is beyond terrorism. 
Osama bin Laden didn't kill but 2,000 people. Allegedly, these people killed three or four million Americans. And they get a uh, anti-Asian hate bill. <laughs> I kid you not. You would literally think I'm sitting here making this shit up. Like, no, man. Yeah. And this shows you this shows you the level of disdain that there has to be for black people, because one group of people can come up here, can, can come up in here and kill off your grandmammy and kill off your mama and kill off your whole goddamn community and got your children, your neighbors, your friends and everybody sick as a dog. Your country's on lockdown. Your economy's collapsing. Your 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 boss has got his finger all in your face. If you don't get this jab, you're fired. You are a hero last year. You're a criminal this year. Your president is standing up finger wagging you, talking to you like little bitty children. Yeah, man, please. Motherfucker sick. Hospitals overran. And you get special legislation passed for you? Unbelievable. Look. Do I need to like I'm always telling you, dude, this country is sold out. All that shit that you see in the media, man, that's nothing. It's nothing. It's a bunch of nothing isms. That's why they got Kanye West up there. Dude, your country is under foreign control, man. You're sold out. This ain't even nowhere in the news media. This is a straight up dude. I found this from a motherfucker on Twitter with 158 followers. That shows you the evidence that, that this story is covered. How the fuck is this not covered all over CNN, all over Fox? They will sit up there and wait for a nigga to get killed by the police. Look at Black Lives Matter and look at these black people rioting and, and destroying everything. Black people are the worst. 7% of the population, 60% of the crimes. Black people, black people, black people. In the meantime, your goddamn nation is dying by the millions and you too big of a bitch to talk to Ho-Sung Lee about it. Well, well, come here, Ho Song Lee. Let 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 me kiss your yellow butt cheeks. Let me lift up your dick and suck you and and suck your balls. Here here goes billions. As a matter of fact, bring your cheap shit over here. We'll we'll put it in Target and overcharge people for it. Yeah, bring all that slave labor cheap crap over here. We love you. Spread more disease among us. Kill us all, hell. Nobody cares nothing about these spoiled, rotten, piece of shit Americans with they $35, $35 hour wage begging asses. Let them die. We're bringing in the new whites from down south. They grew up under dictators and know how to be ruled over. And they will work for 20 civilized dollars and live in mediocre neighborhoods. Okay? So thank you. For helping us wipe this slate a little bit more cleaner, Mr. Ho Sung Lean Shao Mung Go, or whatever the fuck your name is. Anyways, I'm pretty sure you get the drift. Black people don't get this much love, despite the fact that we built the country. And whatever criminality that you're seeing in the ghetto is systemically induced. Not going to say that quite a bit of it wouldn't be there already, but trust me, it's, it's systemically induced whenever you got CEOs of rap companies that can pay young black men billions or uh, millions of dollars to sit up in the in the middle of crime infested neighborhoods and rap about murder, drugs, prostitution and make that shit look normal to whole entire generations, man. Kiss my you know what? Man, I'm out. And oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Remember at all times people stop Asian hate. They can hate on you and even kill you off. But don't you hate on them. They're a protected group.